Stan Jabalisco here to show you a simple method that you can use to amplify the audio output of a so-called crystal set radio receiver. The crystal really is this diode D1 which is usually not, does not appear to take the form of a crystal as such. Don't get that confused with a quartz crystal used for oscillators and things like that but it's a typical uh, crystal set radio receiver the signal comes in the antenna you select the frequency with this tank circuit you match the impedance by tapping the coil at the proper point D1 uh, detects the signal that's uh, RF rectification otherwise known as detection so that you get RF and audio both to the right of D1 C2 gets rid of that RF component, leaving only the audio to its right. C3 will keep the uh, base bias as it should be. It's a blocking capacitor, C3, whereas C2 is a sort of low-pass filter, in effect. It looks like a bypass capacitor the way it's wired up, but it's kind of a low-pass filter so that you choose the value so that there's no RF component left here, only audio. This has to have a large enough value to let that audio through, but not direct current. Otherwise, you'd end up shorting the base of this transistor directly to ground, and you probably wouldn't hear anything at all at the output because you'd end up with a Class B amplifier and you wouldn't get enough signal here to make, even make that transistor produce any output. But you get the bias for the base here. Simple audio amplifier. Um, this uh, resistor here uh, limits the current through the uh, transistor and also keeps the output from being effectively shorted to ground because the positive pole of any power supply is in effect electrical ground um, for uh, audio frequency and radio frequency purposes. Here you have your basic uh, bias system for the transistor's emitter. C5 keeps, uh, in case you want to connect anything past here, C5 keeps this collector from uh, being improperly shorted out by whatever you might happen to uh, connect at the output or otherwise improperly biased. So you connect a set of headphones. This uh, ought to be enough to drive a set of headphones and increase the sensitivity of this uh, total radio considerably over what you would have with just the crystal set, that part right there. Uh, only very strong local stations are enough to produce any audible output here. But this amplifier will give you a more sensitive receiver. And from there, you can build onto this. If you wish, you can put a radio frequency amplifier ahead of the audio frequency, ahead of the detector, the so-called crystal, and get even more sensitivity but you've got to be careful with radio frequency amplifiers they uh, you don't want to introduce any noise in here that'll make you hear a horrible roar at the output with this amplifier but this is a very simple radio receiver the frequency range is determined by the range of values that C1 can provide usually about 10 picofarads to 365 picofarads or something. And then you choose the band of frequencies that you want by selecting the value of the inductor appropriately. Very simple radio receiver you can build. I was going to say you can get the parts at Radio Shack. Uh, you can locally here in the black holes of Dakota Territory United States of Amateur Radio, but I'm not so sure how long Radio Shack stores as such will exist in other places unless they're privately owned. But of course there's Mauser and Jameco and all those sorts of uh, sources of parts. You just It's kind of a hassle to go online and 
go through their websites. I just hate that, really, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm an old-fashioned guy. Save changes? Absolutely not. This is from my book, SCH3. That is um, How to Read Schematic Diagrams, 3rd Edition. What's the actual title of that? Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. You can find that on Amazon.com. Just go there, and I will provide a link to that book in the description of this video. But for now, I'll simply say so long from some solar system in the outer portion of this galaxy, which is the Milky Way. Didn't you know that? Now you do. Stan Gibalisco signing off. So long for now.